Minavino di Lecce is located in the southern Salento, a few kilometers south from Ocento. The territory is part of the union of municipalities of the eastern coast, together with Ortelle, Castro and Santa Cesaria Terme. Among its lands, there are numerous megalithic testimonies, a monumental legacy of the permanent presence of man since the Age of Medals. Evocative is the countryside that extends around the town, branching into the dense plots of olive trees towards the villages of Specchia Gallone and Cocumola. The green expanses, characterized by lush and ancient arboreal monuments, are the evident synthesis of the economy of the country, strongly linked to the agricultural vocation, in particular in the production of oil, wine and cereal products. The architecture of rural civilization is divided into the countryside of Minervino and it is expressed in fact in the charming dry stone walls built over the centuries by the hands of local farmers. In this enchantment it is easy to come across the pagliare, typical buildings of Salento, built to store agricultural tools or as a housing system during the summer months. The wonders and curiosities also continue on the east coast where the coastal tower Milavino stands, located on the provincial road Otranto Santa Cesaria Terme. The tower was built in the 16th century at the expense of the ancient universities of Milavino during the reign of Charles V of Habsburg, today a destination for many tourists and curious looking for spectacular landscape photos. Minavino di Lecce is a country to discover, but also to taste. In fact, the agricultural tradition is perfectly combined with enological and culinary innovation, thanks in particular to the excellent wine stores that animate the area, recognized and appreciated for their value by important Italian and foreign estimators. The spontaneity of the places and the talent for their reception make Minavino an enchanting village. Embellished by important historical artistic monuments and certainly by the kindness of the inhabitants and by the professionalism of the tour operators. The historical identity of Minervino di Lecce re-echoes in the beauty of uh, the ancient village, embellished with elegant architectures, realized through the use of the characteristic local stone. The parish church, dedicated to San Michele Arcangelo, is able to combine the simplicity of the building tradition of Terra d'Otranto with the unexceptionable skill of the master stone masons from Salento. The rose window dominates the facade of the church, showing the lush carvings that adorn the entire perimeter area with opulence in a suggestive circumference of acanthus leaf elements and plant motifs. Other carvings are placed on the lintel of the side entrance, positioned on the side of Piazza Umberto I. At the top stands the statue of St. Michael, owner of the church and protector of the city. Monumental is the building project of the apse, visible from the outside in its mighty forms and rich in references to antiquarian taste. The interior of the building is divided into a single nave and on its sides are displayed the stone altars, adorned with care by devotion and popular piety. We can find Sant'Antonio da Padova's church in Piazza 4 Novembre. The sobriety and the simplicity of the building are exhibited externally, 
its linearity is interrupted by the orders of the arches of the conventual complex. Once, the church was annexed to the convent of the reformed minor fathers in whose recently restored ruins, numerous works of particular artistic value are preserved. Walking through the ancient village of Minervino, you pleasantly know the history of the place. In fact, the solemn Palazzo Ducale of the Venturi family stands out, not by chance called by the inhabitants Castello Nuovo in relation to its defensive function and representation of feudal power. The opulence of the Venturi family also transpires in the ancient palace house located in Via Castello. From the austere and linear forms, the passage portal emerges, on whose top the heraldic coat of arms of the house stands out. It is easy to get lost in these monumental beauties, where attention is paid to the care and enhancement of the cultural heritage, virtues that make the urban landscape of Minervino full of evocative emotions and enchanting art scenarios. The village of Cocumula is part of the municipal territory of Minervino di Lecce. The small town is like a fan around the town square, dedicated to the patron saint Nicholas of Mira, celebrated by the population the first week of August. Here, the ancient noble buildings look out and among all, Palazzo Pasca, with its articulated physiognomy of an ancient noble residence, stands out. The façade is dominated by the highly elaborated portal, while an elegant balustrade crowns the structure, a happy result of changes dating back to the end of the 18th century. In ancient times, the building had to have a defensive structural organization as recalled by the remains of some late 16th century elements of a military architectural nature. In these glimpses of Southern Salento, the verses of the illustrious poet Vittorio Bodini, collected in La Luna dei Borboni, quote as follows. A village called Cocumula is like having the hands dirty with flour and a small lemon green colored door. A few meters from the square, the sober lines of the parish church stand out, which are the result of the significant changes made in the late 19th century. Continuing towards the outskirts, you will come across the small church dedicated to Assunta, known here in Cocumula as the Virgin of the Hurricane. The chapel is so named in memory of the violent storm that took place in the eastern area of Salento in 1832, a storm that according to devotional tradition was mitigated thanks to the saving intervention of the Virgin. Cocumula is also known for its excellent cookery tradition proposed in an exquisite family setting in the various rooms of the ancient city centre. A good opportunity to visit the village, suitable to combine the scenic beauty of spontaneous Salento with the quality of the typical dishes of Terra do Tranto.
The beauty of authentic Salento can be enjoyed in the small village of Specchia Gallone, a hamlet of Minervino di Lecce. The village for several centuries was linked to the events of the family of the Gallone princes of Tricase, among the richest noble families of southern Salento. The 16th century baronial palace, positioned along the perimeter of the town square, still preserves the heraldic coat of arms of the Gallones, which stands out in the middle of the refined side balustrade. The main facade of the building, on the other hand, bears the insignia of the San Giovanni family, a family belonging to the nobility of Alessandria, feudatory of Specchia, in succession to princes of Tricase. In the physiognomy of the building, we can recognize the various architectural reconstructions elaborated over the centuries with the aim of softening and ennobling its original austere and military structure. Other references to the heraldic story of the Rooster can be found in the carving of the portal of the parish church dedicated to San Biagio, protector of the village. Evocative is the 17th century iconography shown in the stone decoration inspired by the theme of the Passion of Christ and the Memento Mori, such as the cross, the column of whipping and the skull. The interior is a single nave dominated by a monumental pulpit made entirely of lecce stone. The central altar is a stylistic uniqueness in the Salento area thanks to its complex polychrome inlays. The pictorial beauties of Specchia Gallone are concentrated in the parietal cycles preserved in the Church of Sant'Anna, an artistic jewel of high cultural value. The building stands out along the road that leads to Poggiardo in a peripheral position with respect to the center of the inhabited area, and it externally presents the evident signs of important structural changes that have occurred over time. Inside, you can admire the pictorial refinement of the 16th century in Salento, which here in Sant'Anna is manifested in representations of high quality and mastery. The frescoes, divided into scenes, record the events of the Gospel and the Old Testament, depicted in a clear and simple manner on the style of the Biblia Pauperum. Evocative is the representation of the Last Judgment, painted along the counter facade of the church. The ancient and noble history of the agricultural economy of Specchia Gallone echoes along the road that leads to Minervino. The great 16th century farms impose themselves on the visitor's gaze with their monumental facades now restored and returned to the present. These structures often hide jewels in the subsoil, such as ancient barns of surprising size. It is the past of the Salento identity that returns with its beauty and its precious cultural testimonies, which in Specchia Gallone relieve with a spontaneity in the care of the places and in the Greek welcoming of the inhabitants of the village. territory of Minervino di Lecce preserves an important heritage belonging to the Salento's megalithic civilization. Valid example is the dolmen, l'iscusi, 
located along the provincial road that connects the town to Uggiano la Chiesa. Identified by Mario Antonio Michalella back in 1867, Liscusi stands out among the most impressive dolmens of the Apulian Peninsula and among the first megalithic monuments to be studied in Italy during the censuses that took place between the 19th and 20th centuries. The upper plate, as a whole, with a diameter of 20 cm, an opening probably connected to an ancient cultural or astronomical function. Recently, the municipal administration of Minervino has established the Dolmen Liscusi Cultural Park in order to improve the protection and enhancement of the monument through the promotion of interesting tourist itineraries initiated within the SAC Serre Salentina. This megalithic heritage is characterized by the Menhir Monticelli, located a few kilometers from the town in the homonymous locality. Identified in 1951 by Giuseppe Palumbo, the monolith had to have larger dimensions in the past compared to its height, which today stands at 2 meters and 25 centimeters. In Cocumula, you can also admire the Menhir Croce in Via Savoia, once located in the open countryside, as noted in its census by the geologists from Lecce, Cosimo de Giorgi. The stone monument reaches 3 meters and 20 centimeters in height, while the base has a 63 centimeter wide section. The precious megalithic testimonies enrich the Minervino territory with mystery and charm, a heritage that recalls the ancestral spirit of vocation of Salento and the strong bond with nature and the land.